and with drums. And then we'll move on over to for sale by owners. If you have any questions, feel free to chat them in. Okay, my mojo doesn't want to dial in for some reason. Let's try it again. Well, my mojo's being silly. Okay. Well, then I'll just follow up with the screen and see what you guys are doing. Okay. Try it again. <laughs> there we go. Be right back. Phone, please enter your PIN number. Your you are now logged into the Mojo Dialer. Please press the Start button on your screen to begin calling. Hello? Hello? All right. System. Three? This is Adam. Hi, Adam. It's Barbara over at Select Homes Team Real Estate. Oh. And I was calling uh -huh. about your home that was recently withdrawn from the market. Have you had a chance to get mm -hmm. that home relisted? No, we're going to wait till the spring to relist it. Are you? Okay. Do you mind me asking why you want to wait until the spring? No, uh, I just, I don't know. It's ten, the houses tend to sell quicker in the spring, and I'm tired of keeping it cleaned out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> with the, with the yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. um, just to yeah. let you know that, that yeah, no, it, it makes sense. And I understand the need for a break and things like that. Absolutely. I do understand mm -hmm. that. But if the goal is to actually still, um, sell the home, just, um, some good solid information for you. Um, you know, people are still purchasing, I mean, homes during mm -hmm. this time frame, and, um, mm -hmm. During the spring is when everybody goes to list their home. So you have lots more competition mm -hmm. during that time frame. So just mm -hmm. just food for thought. Just think about that a little bit. And, you know, homes tend to actually um, view better during the winter months because it's 
you know, everybody's decorating and you know, so it's, it's nice mm -hmm. and inviting and things like that. So, I mean, if your, your mm -hmm. ultimate goal is to sell the home, it's still, it still is truly a good time to continue to have the home listed. Now, um, okay. did you have a lot of traffic during your time frame or? Um, right up front we did. Uh -huh. And then it kind of, oh, it kind of, this last few months, it's like one or two showings a, a month. Like it hasn't, it was, I mean, there hasn't been much traffic at all. Right. But before that, I mean, when we initially listed it, I mean, for the first few months, we had four or five showings a week. So, right, right. Did you get uh, a lot of feedback mm -hmm. during that time frame? No, feedback was uh, yards too small and it's too close to Kellogg. So. Oh, okay. That's kind of the, the, the sure. feedback sure. we got initially. So. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Now, um, when you go to, to relist the home, will you be exploring other options and other people's marketing plans or have you? Potentially, yes. Potentially. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll go back with with the same agent. Well, there's, it was a weird, we had a deal worked out with the agent as we bought our, our lot for, from this agent. But, but we don't know what we'll do in the spring yet. Sure, sure, I understand. So. Um, mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity, would it be a, worth a little bit of your time um, to sit down with one of our agents just to talk to you a little bit about our marketing plan and um, put together, you know, some ideas on how to get the home sold, um, you know, faster mm -hmm. for top mm -hmm. dollar? I mean, I know you're, you don't want to do it during the winter, mm -hmm. but I just, I'm just thinking that it might be one of your best options, um, especially mm -hmm. with everybody else you know, wanting to relist in the springtime. I mean, it's just, I'm looking at your home right now. It's beautiful. You redid the kitchen. It's mm -hmm, stunning. <laughs> oh, we, did, we, we redid everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, the open uh, concept is absolutely beautiful. I just mm -hmm. simply don't know. And the new lighting even that you've put in there, I just simply mm -hmm. don't know why the home didn't sell. Um, I don't know. Either. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, <laughs> could we possibly set up a time and have one of our listing agents come in, get a fresh perspective on your home for you and see if there's anything that we oh. can do to help out? It takes about well, an yeah, hour. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure my, my wife would be on board with, with, with doing that. So. Okay. All right. Now, did you guys uh -huh. already purchase another home or have you, are you guys going to build oh. or what are the goals? We're going to build. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We we purchased a lot and we're in the uh, we're we're still in the design stage, but are you okay? Kind of sell so our house. Yeah. And yeah. Then, and then, then start then building. As, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll start building as soon as it sells. So. Okay. All right. So when mm -hmm. are you thinking is a good time to come out and meet? We have day, evenings, and weekends available for you. Um. That um way, uh, try to make it. Real let me take a. Uh, let me take a look here. Oh, I got something going on this evening. Oh. Probably the soon, the quickest we could do something would be like Friday evening or over the weekend. Okay, we can do so. Friday evening. That's the sixth. Um, three. Yes. Uh, that is, and about uh, what time? Oh, let's let's plan on like the sixth at. 6 p.m. and and um and then if, is this a good number to call you back at, yeah. after I run it by the wife? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Give me yep. a call. And um, like I said, it only takes about an hour, hour and a half. Um, I'm on the phone a whole lot, so feel free to leave a message, and uh -huh. I, I will definitely get it, I promise. We also have Leslie give everybody a call the day of the appointment or the day before the appointment just to just as a reminder, uh -huh. and she also helps us reschedule if need be. So okay. um, we can definitely okay. do that. Now, do you mind if um, I ask you just a couple quick questions? I know it's a four-bedroom. Is it a three and a half bath home or is it a four bath home? It's a three and a half bath. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. And then, what is a good email address to send you some some information? That's Adam A D A M K D K A T I E K McDaniel at what? Uh, Adam Katie and then McDaniel M C D A N I E L at at gmail dot com. Okay. And there's no dots or anything in there. It's just both the names nope, yep. and the three names. Yeah, okay. both first names and then the last name and then gmail.com. Okay. And then um, let's see. I'm going through some of the pictures. I see that you have a fireplace. Um, mm, there's two. Yep. 
two. Okay. And then I haven't yeah, gone up, to the back. Down. I haven't gone to the backyard. I love the lighting. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> changing over some of my light fixtures currently. So um, I'm uh -huh. just, I'm like in off right now. <laughs> Is that yep. a wet bar? Does it have a sink down there in the basement? Yes, it does. Okay. It looks like you have a family room. How many of the bedrooms are down there? Uh, there's one bedroom. It's actually a, a second master is what it is. A second master. It's, okay. That's just that. There's like a I don't know if you're looking at pictures, but there's like a, a big room with a, with a fireplace in the basement. Yeah, I see that. And and that yeah, that's oh, and I see the closet. A bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see it with the double sink. Okay. And you have a deck mm -hmm. and a patio on the back. It's a two car attached mm -hmm. garage, and mm -hmm. it's a walkout basement. Okay, and then you don't have a swimming pool or a hot tub. It, the deck's beautiful. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I have most of the information I'll need. Um, and like I said, the you know we'll just get a fresh perspective on the home for you. See what we can do to help out. Um, I'm mm -hmm. thinking, you know, if you guys are definitely wanting to move forward with the build, and needing to sell this home, you know, I think it would mm -hmm. be a great time to maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, keep it still keep it pretty cleaned up, you know, for the winter months and get people mm -hmm. in there that are really serious. And, you know, because mm -hmm. come spring, so many people just list all at once. There's so much competition and that always just mm -hmm. is so hard, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh -huh. All right. So. Well, I appreciate your time and I have you scheduled for um, the 6th at 6 p.m. Okay. Sounds all good. right, Adam. Thank you. All right. mm. yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. All right, so that's exciting. Good job, Barbara. Thank you. I finally got hey, somebody got on my, my winter spill. <laughs> yeah, right. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. Well, um, I noticed, okay, those are Vulcan 7 expired and FSBO weeds, but you don't use the Vulcan 7 dye or you, mo you use Mojo instead. I have them push them. They integrate together. So they, I don't even touch these. It's so nice. Vulcan 7 actually pushes them straight into my mojo list for me automatically every day. I don't even have to export or anything. And it's nice because oh. I get to take advantage of the three-line dialer instead of the one. The Vulcan one-line dialer used to drive me absolutely batty. I used it for almost two solid years. And I am so thankful that it's integrated to where we can just push the information into mojo. Oh, I probably just need to make a call to Vulcan 7 then and let them set that up to Mojo. Uh-huh. Yep. That's all you'll have okay, to do. Okay. Awesome. Thank, thanks for the info. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. So, let's go ahead and get this appointment on the board or on the calendar. So, um, we do everything uniformed. We do this the same way every single time. That way, everybody's on board and knows exactly what we're doing. Oops. Oops. All right. So you guys just heard a lot of what I use um, for the winter months um, because everybody's like, hey, I'm going to wait to the spring. I'm going to wait to the spring. And that's the best time to list. And that is my go-to. You know, the home's more inviting during the Christmas months because the holiday months, because everything is, you know, um so full of love and joy i mean think about it everybody wants to decorate everybody wants to share you know um the warmth of the holidays in their home so it it does show nicely and my biggest one i think is the competition i mean if you think about it if you have a home that hasn't sold in a specific amount of months you know you're not going to have as much competition so and then we have these serious buyers that need a home. They're going to fall in love with one of them, you know. Then again, it may not sell at all. You never know. But that's my go-to. For sure my go-to. 
six, seven, eight, save. Copy to my calendar. And then I go back in because we have to put it on our accountability calendar. And so now we have it on everybody's calendars. We send out an email um, to the agent, to Leslie, because she's the one that gets all of our packets together for us. So let's go ahead and put this. Um, um, what do I want to say? They have purchased Save my life. All right, so this is an expired listing that wanted to wait until spring. I asked if we could give them a fresh perspective on the home and let them know that competition will be fierce come spring. So it is a great, so it is great, great time to keep it on the market this winter. That doesn't make any sense. Spring. Um, I love know that the competition will be fierce in spring. Let's fix this. It's okay, my brain's not functioning this morning already. Ha. Okay. All right, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so we're done with that step. And then we have to come in here in the drop box. Um, did you have a question, Nick? It looks like you might have had a question. So let's go in here and document. Huh? Oh, oh I didn't hear you, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, no, I wasn't asking anything. I was just uh, looking at what you were doing and all the different steps. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. No, no, Did no worries. Guys... Thank you, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Did you guys see my grandbaby? Here, hold on a minute. <laughs> and he is adorable. That's my niece. Uh, Go figure. That's my niece, and that's my grandbaby with them big old blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's my boy. Uh, all right. 
So now we need to tell the system who we set the appointment with, and that was with Brian. This is how we keep track of all of our appointments. That way we can go back in weekly um, to figure out um, how many appointments happened um, for our paychecks. So we monitor, we track everything in this. One, six, three, oh, and our call log. We have two spreadsheets that we work with daily. Nine, nine, eight, five. I love it when you get an appointment off first go around because it just gives you that boost you need to push forward. Um, Okay, so we got that taken care of. Our next step is our lead intake worksheet. And this is something that Leslie actually will get her hands on after I've put it into the system so that she can get the packet ready for our listing agent. So it was me and it was Vulcan expired and it is the third currently. Um, and his home, look at how pretty his kitchen is. I wasn't lying when they said that. It, it, look at how pretty that is. I love these light fixtures. The home is pretty. I didn't see any true reason why it wouldn't sell. I mean, it's an older home, but it's really nicely remodeled. Um, very clean, it shows well. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't understand. I mean, even the basement is clean and redone. So I don't see why this wouldn't be a home that would be easily sold um, unless it truly is the location that everybody has a problem with. So we'll see what we can do for them. It's probably overpriced. That's usually the reason. Yeah, if it looks as nice as it does, and it's yeah, and and that's either it's in bad shape or it's overpriced. You're absolutely right. So um, I'm trying to. I forgot to grab the zip code. Let's see. Six seven two zero nine. Oh, and I bet you that's Goddard School District too. So that's even a sought off, sought after school district. So wow. Um, um, email address. T i e m c d a n i e l gmail.com. Now our listing appointments are, are more lengthy in detail um, and so they take downtime off the dialer a lot more than our buyer's appointments because our buyer's appointments are simply put on the calendar um, and the email agent. We don't have to go through all these extra steps but um, I did not ask that question. If I did, I don't remember. Four, three point five. A ranch style home. Um, he has both. It was a two car attached. He has two finished. It's family room, wet bar. I think he said one master downstairs. The yard was fenced in. I forgot to ask if he had a sprinkler system. Let's see. Three new patio doors. I'm going to put all this stuff in here. Copy. Drop these notes in here. Finished basement, fireplace, wet bar. It has a security system. It's a deck porch lawn. I don't believe it has a sprinkler system. Didn't see a shed, no hot tub, no pool. What is the home worth? Um, 
last listed price was 209. Two nine nine. Question mark. Agent or company it was listed with. So it's in the calendar, it's emailed to the agent, and so now we're going to save this into our lead listing storage area so that um, Leslie can get her hands on this and start working on that packet for Brian. All right, so that step's done. And... We are ready to move on. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and trash this and move on to the next. Goodness, excuse me, I'm sorry. I guess I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hello. Hello, James. Yes. Hi, James. This is Barb over at Select Homes Team Real Estate. Calling about your home there in Rose Hill, the one that was recently expired from the market. Are you still accepting yes. offers on this home, or do you mind me asking what the uh, situation is? Yes, we are still. And uh, I'm at work. Can I call you back? Yeah, absolutely. When's the best time to, to follow up? Uh, probably after five. After five? Okay, how about I give you a shout this evening sometime? Does that work? That, that would be perfect. All right. Thank you for your time, James. Thank you. Bye. All right. Well, still wanting to sell the home. We know that for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some notes. Um, I'm not here at five, but I will call from my house. No big deal for me. I'll just get her done. And this person lives in Rose Hill. I bet you I probably know them because they live in my little small town. Um, name doesn't sound familiar, but I bet you I've probably seen them before. <laughs> so one, three, three. Phone number is three one six seven zero six eight seven eight five. And they're actually probably on. They might be on land because they're out on Southwest One Eighty. Let's see. It's listed with Josh Roy. They have ICF construction. Same as my house. Um, they have a very nice um, green home as well. Let's see. I'm just curious. I am very, very curious now what we're working with. It's definitely on land. Oh, I know exactly what home they are. I know this home. And it is on like, oh, yep, 39.4 acres. Nice. Okay, so now I know what home it is. 
so now I know what to work with. Okay, I'm talking to myself kind of, sorry, processing this. 39, 44 acres. I know exactly what home this is, so we will call James tonight. Call after 5 p.m. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Yeah, it was because that was Kansas City, huh? Might try and call him back again in a little bit, yeah. Hello? Hi, this is Barbara over at Select Homes. Team Real Estate, and I was looking for the owner of the home there on East um, Cross Creek Street. It is not us. Oh, okay. We sold that probably seven years ago. Oh, goodness. Definitely have the wrong information here. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm, bye. All right. Oop, that scared me. So let's move on. Hi, this is Dave Brown. Anything that you have to say has got to be more important than what I have to say, so leave me a message. Thanks. Interesting. Linda Johnson with Seward County Event Center. Please leave your name and number and I will return your Hello. Hi, this is Barbara over at Select Homes Team Real Estate, and I was looking for the owner of the home there on East um, Cross Creek Street. I have no idea. You're, I used to own it, but I live in Boston now. You call me in Boston. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Have a good day. Bye. Well, we just got all kinds of fun information, don't we?
Anthony Michaelham, please leave a brief message at the tone. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for... Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you six two five zero two five nine two. forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six, five. We're calling Midwest Dental. This is Mandy. I can help you. Um, I think I have the wrong number. I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hello. Hi, this is Barbara over at Select Homes Team Real Estate, and I was looking for the owner of the home there on North Forest in Wichita. Yes. Um, I was calling because it looks like the home was recently expired from the market. Just calling to see if you've had a chance to get it relisted or if you're even still accepting offers on the home. Still accepting offers on the home, and it's been listed with Art Bush. With who? Art Bush. Okay, I will look that up. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. All right. That was quick. She already knew who she was going to use. Five zero three two four five two one four eight. Take your call right now, please. Send me a message. Thanks.
message after the tone. That wasn't very friendly. That dreaded fax. Gets you every time, huh? Does me. Hello? Hi, this is Barbara over at Select Homes Team Real Estate. And I was looking for the owner of the home there on Grand Mere Street. This is he. Can I ask you? Sure. I was calling to see if you've had a chance to get your home relisted. We noticed that um, it was withdrawn from the market. Are you still accepting offers? Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I'll take an offer because the bank. If I don't sell it, the bank is going to take over. So I want to sell it. Uh, oh. I've, okay. I've been there in the same room, so. Okay. I'll take an offer of some interest. Sure, sure. What um how many months behind are you on payments? I'm I'm uh, I'm way behind. I think it's uh this probably is gonna go on foreclosure. I've I've never received anything, but somebody like, you know, everybody's been calling me now and they said uh, they they can help me or whatever and uh I don't know. I I think maybe like Toward the end of next week, uh, the bank is going to give me three months either to sell it or pay for it. So three months to pay. Yeah, either pay for it or if I can sell it, I'll, I'll sell it. So I mean, I take it off the market a short because sale. It, it's been yes. Uh huh. Okay. What? Um, let me see. Have you um, ever heard of a We Buy Homes program? I, I I I've never heard of anything. Okay. I mean, I just well, uh, um, something that we can do possibly is schedule a time for Brian Brundage to come in and view the home, and see if we could either make an offer for you that would be acceptable and would help you out, and or we can talk to you about um, how we can sell your home quickly, um, traditionally. Okay. When is a good time for me okay. to have somebody come out and visit with you? Uh. Yeah, uh, if I'm not there, my wife will be there, but I do the negotiation. I mean, if somebody want to look at the house. I had an offer on the house when it was on the market. Somebody want cash buyer for 440000 I didn't take it. I was stupid, I guess. And now I I got to the point where I am. So I, don't, I have a beautiful house. I built it for myself. I'm a builder. Uh -huh. So I I it's top of the the line house there in that area. So it's just everything top of the line. So unfortunately my business went down big time so I got behind and that's what uh what happened. But if somebody wanna look at it, yeah, uh, I can um, anytime, like tomorrow, Thursday or wherever. Okay. Yeah, we'd like for you to be there, um, so that we could discuss that with you. Um you said tomorrow or Thursday? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow I have also another another person want to come and look at it. Uh, I can do it Thursday. Okay. So what time on Thursday? I can do anything after two. After two. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh yeah. How about maybe we do it at two because I I don't like the kids you know to come home and see what's going on. So I try to keep it away from my kids. Uh, two between two and three I can do it. Okay, so can is three too late uh, to give him some drive yeah, time? Three, to, yeah. Three's too late. Yeah, well, let's let's do two thirty then. Three thirty. Okay. Two thirty. Two thirty. Okay, we'll do. Two, okay, we'll yeah. do two thirty, and um, you will be at the home. I'll have Brian come out and visit with you. Okay. Okay. And then yeah. um, 
I think I have most of the information here on your home. Now, do you have an, a good email address that I can use? Yeah, it's C A M. It's C A M, C -A -M like in Cam. Uh huh. It's, it's like how you write Cam. C A M underscore A B D five eight at yahoo dot com. Okay, and what do you believe the home is worth? Well, it's my house. I built it. When I built it, it was a price five hundred and ten thousand. <laughs> But uh, I I got a I refinanced it two years ago. It uh -huh. was appraised four hundred and sixty thousand. Okay. And I still have the appraisal paper and everything there. Okay. So, okay. And do you know what you currently owe? Well, I think the bank is gonna ask for three sixty seven. That's that's what I heard. I had I, somebody knows the realtor, the one I'm listed my house with her. And right. He called me. He have all the information from the court. Do you think the the bank is gonna be satisfied with three hundred and sixty seven? Three hundred and sixty seven. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, of let course, me. Of course, we don't know until next week or whenever you know the sheriff sale and the bank buy it back. So. But they haven't given you paperwork yet. They haven't given you anything. No, no, I did. I didn't receive anything. I didn't receive anything. So. And I talked to my lawyer, he said sometimes they do this, they don't have by the law to give you paper or whatever because they share the majority of the owner on the house or whatever. I don't know what the kind of crap it is, but uh, yeah. what happened happened. I'm not going to tell okay. you about it. Okay. Is your basement finished? Yes. Okay. How many bedrooms and bathrooms are in the actual basement? Uh, the basement, there is two bedrooms and one bathroom, full bathroom. Two bedroom and one full bath. Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, okay. Plus a bar. A bar. Finished bar area. Yes. Uh -huh. And a family room. Fire. Family room, fireplace, and uh, the huge storage area. Do you have a sprinkler I got system? Same, it, I have a sprinkler system. I have a, also a well, underground well, so I don't use the city water. Sure. And then how about, is it fenced in? Do you have sorry? a fence in your backyard? Is it fenced? No, it, it, it's fenced on both sides of my neighbor, but the one toward the lake is not fenced. Partially, okay. And then um, do you have a fireplace in the home? Yeah, I have one. Okay. The downstairs in the basement. It's a, it's a wood burning with the gas starter. Okay. Then I have the one upstairs at the fireplace. Uh, you can see through both sides. So one that goes to the family room and one that goes to the living room. Like, you know, it's one of those where you have a glass, you can see the fireplace from both sides. Okay. Okay. And then do you happen to have a deck or a patio on the back? Yeah, I have a big patio, big covered one. Okay. All right. Well, I think I have everything I need. Um, here to share this information with Brian. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a call and let him know your situation. And if he has any questions, yeah. is it okay if he gives you a call? Yeah, that's fine. I, I mean, I don't answer phone numbers. I don't know. They've been calling me for four or five days. You never leave your, your message or something. That's why I don't answer. If there's so many solicitors, I don't answer my phone. So yeah, no, no, no. If I'll somebody call leave me a and I don't answer, they have to leave a message. Otherwise, oh. I won't call them back. I'll let him know. Okay. Yep, I'll let him know, and I'll let him okay. know that your what your situation is, and um, um, we will. I don't know if you want to put some remark on the house. I have hardwood floor through the first floor everywhere except two bedroom. I have a granite all over the house. Okay. Uh, my ba master bathroom floor, it's heated floor. It's uh, all uh, limestone tile. I have a beautiful house. I mean, okay. I'm. I ask, believe me, I cry at night. I'm losing it, but I mean, nothing I can do about it. I gotta start again. So. Right, right. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, um, we'll have Brian come out, and we'll just see what we can do to to be of help. And like I said, if he has any questions, um, I will have him leave you a message and just give him a call back so he can talk to you. Okay. Okay. No okay. Problem. He's gonna be the expert in 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 getting you in the right direction. So. Okay. No All problem. right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye. Guys, I'll be right back, okay?
I am back. I am not sure if Brian will even be able to help this guy. So that is why I went ahead and I just did my thing. I will set the appointment and then after this, um, after the coaching call, I'll actually get with him and make sure that we can be of help. Um, if not, I will either call him back or, and or Brian will just to discuss um, things with him, but I didn't want to let him go without, you know, setting a, a time to see if we could be of help in any way. Um, let's see. Oops. See, I told you guys I can't type. Four thirty. Oops. Okay. All right. Before I absolutely do anything um, further, I'm going to save this to my calendar. And I'm not going to add anything else or send an email yet until I talk to him over the phone. So let's move on. Hmm. All right. Uh-huh. We could. Hello. Please leave a message. After Adam the typically tone. uses that thing. Yes. Hi, is this Christy? Yes. Hi, this is um, Barbara over at Select Homes Team Real Estate. Just calling about your home there in Anderson. Over where? Select Homes Team Real Estate. Yeah. I was just calling to see if you've had a chance to get your home relisted or if you don't mind me asking what the Yeah, we're taken care of, so you don't need to call anymore. Okay. Have a fantastic day. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. She was fun. Mailbox of Tom. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording,
Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. I've reached the voicemail box of Julie. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Hello, you've reached the Galt residence. I'm sorry, we're not home right now, but please leave your name and number. Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Hello, this is Joyce Mullinger. I'm not available to take... All right, so I just text Brian to see what his thoughts were on that appointment. Been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Hello. Hi, can I speak with Ron, please? I'm sorry, who? Ron? You have the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Bye. Uh -huh. All right, wrong number. You have reached the voicemail box of 31. Hello, please leave a message after the tone. All right, so Brian just gave me the go ahead, so I'm going to take this appointment. And send it on out. So let's go ahead and take those steps, same steps we would take. I don't know why I had that in there. No. Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah. Okay.
the world am I doing? Thirty ten five cents go go up go. All right, so let's go ahead and get this one set up. Same deal, same same everything. So it's Brian. Appointment date. Tech method. Vulcan expired. Finished, pain layer and what bar, two and one, no, yes, no, no, no.
Um, this is wrong information. I don't even know why I put that in there. I don't know. Oops. All right, so save that. Okay, so that is done. Next thing we need to do really quick is put it in the Dropbox. I didn't make it that far yet. Today is the third. I said another one for Brian. We're giving him lots of love right now, but that was just a situation to where he's the only one that does the We Buy Homes and would do something like that. So um, I had no choice but to. We try to do a round robin deal um, with our agents, so make it fair. But unfortunately with this one, it was different circumstances, so that is why it had to be set with him. Okay. All right, moving on. Um, I don't remember, I think, I don't remember if I talked to this person. Darn it. I don't know. Hello. Hi, can I speak with Julie, please? You have the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, bye. All right, so wrong number, wrong number. Can everybody Hello, you've reached your still hear Martin. me well? Sometimes we have audio problems. I like to check randomly to make sure that it's still We're good. working well. Awesome. How's everybody's week going so far? Another day in paradise. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> Reached the voicemail box of three. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and... Hello, we can't come to the phone right now. Automated voice messaging system. Eight five. Hello, you've reached your voicemail of Steve Klein. Leave me a message. Hello. Hi, Brian. Yes. Hey, it's Barbara over at Select Homes Team Real Estate, and I wanted to check in on you. It looks like you had a home that was expired from the market. Um, and yes. You're like the 100th realtor who's called me. 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> we we like to make our yeah. calls, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Not a problem. Hey, um, are you going to actually get that home relisted, or are you even thinking um, that you're going to accept any more offers on it or anything? Well, we're going to take a break. I'm kind of tired of the realtors. I'm going to go a different direction. Oh, so we're going to go through three time. realtors, and all all they've all we've done is, you know. The only marketing strategy is reducing the price every two weeks. And, you know, it's not a strategy on that market, not for that price. So I don't know what, you know, I just don't think the buyers are out there in that in that price range. Huh. What's your experience on that? Well, I mean, I know we have buyers out there in that price range. I mean, it's, you know, it's a higher price range. So, I mean, it's going to be, um, it's going to take a little bit longer than some, you know. You know what, it's gonna take you, treat, you can treat it, you, you can treat it as an off the book listing. And uh, if something comes up, you know, if you have a buyer, um, uh, we can move a listing. But uh, yeah, I'll until, let everybody know until that somebody a, has a buyer, because otherwise, I, for the last year, I haven't lived there. I mean, I've lived there, but I haven't lived there. You know what I mean? It's been uh, people trudging in and out, and it's just a lot of people they, looking at stuff. I've had things broken. I've had things missing. Um, you know, I have a lot of nice things in there, and, and uh, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. And, uh, you know, if you have an, an off the, or just treat it as an off the book, if you have a buyer, um, a serious buyer, not just, you know, somebody out looking at homes on Sunday afternoons, I, that's all I've had. Um, well, I, I have, the, I've gone through three, three, different. three agents and, and they, they haven't done anything. I had my last agent had, uh, one realtor's open house, um, no open house for people or for people, um, showed it once personally himself. Uh, and you know what's happened over six months, and it's ridiculous. Well, yeah, well, yeah I, I know I properties I, can I, move. <laughs> I I can't imagine. But I've I've had this conversation with 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 at least uh, I said a hundred, at least two dozen realtors. Well, just me, over the last week or two, the last ten days. I know, and, and we all do call to see if you know there is something that we can do to help out. Um, I and I completely understand your frustration and you know honestly on behalf of the industry i, I apologize for that um something oh that's not, that's not your job to do so. right, right. Um, <laughs> but i mean we we personally don't to we we screen all of our the people that we bring in we make sure they're qualified we don't yeah. just bring people into yeah. the home just to bring people into the home and we do open houses well, every weekend with homes so if that was a concern that's something we do have you ever you know just honestly have you ever had a chance to interview anybody from select homes have you learned anything about our marketing in the past or anything like that i've i've received your literature and you know seen your advertising but that's about it okay. i'm really not interested in listing it right now and and, uh, you know, I've had the realtor talk to me the other day, he called me and he said, you know, if I have a buyer in, in the wings, would you list it with us? I, and my question was, do you have a buyer in the wings? You bring forth a buyer, then we'll talk, then right. we'll list. Right. But I want to buy, I want somebody, you know, give me a letter of intent. Give right. me a, a letter of reference from a bank. You know, right. Uh, right. I'm just tired of it. I get it. It's been a it. year and a half. <laughs> I hear I'm it. Just, I'm, I'm just so tired of it. Have you, I can't live there anymore. You know, it's, you, it's, it's ridiculous. Have you looked at your other options, though? I mean, just out of curiosity, have you thought about maybe auction or something to where yeah, you? Yeah, I thought about that. Reserve? I thought because well, McCurdy just uh, had had an auction out there on 143rd Street. Um, okay. I think there was a, a 10 acre property, um, right. a nice property, and uh, right. um, I think the I don't know what the, the, there's a pending contract on it, but I, yeah. I know that the tax value was uh, was about three quarters of a million, and and uh, so yeah, I think with the higher price homes, I think that's the way to go now. I think it's the only way they're going to move in this economy, in this market. Um, okay. You know, given that you know all the all the major uh, employers with with those types of executive salaries have left town, I just don't think they're out there right now. So I, I think yeah, but I don't want to give away either. And even no. at the price it went down to, I'm give I'm giving it away. Yeah, no, I with, don't with want what you we to give it away house. either. Yeah, I don't want you to give it well, away either. It, and that's why I asked, you know, if that auction was an option because we do have um auction um here as well and we do really really well with yeah. it mike king actually specializes in that and um what's what uh what's the typical percentage of uh that, tax value that the, the, the that i don't for? know is it about eight that, uh, that'd be something i'd be interested in knowing because if, if we're talking 65 percent of tax value you know you can say goodbye yeah yeah and well why don't I, do I, I know where the auctions go okay well let me do this if you don't mind 
when's the best time to contact you? You're getting a lot of phone calls and um, I don't want to bother yeah. you. When's the best time for me to have Mike King call you and discuss this information, either that or have him come out and visit with you at your home? Either oh, way works yeah. for me. You can give me a you can give me a call over the weekend. During okay. the week, I'm pretty busy. Okay. Would you like? Yeah, I'm, you caught me a lunch you? right now. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I got you at the good. good I don't need a, I don't need a face to face <laughs> right now, but uh, but I, I just need to know that there's buyers, and if if you have qualified buyers, I want to know. You know, I don't yeah. need to know their names, but I want to know that you do have qualified buyers, and uh, I'll t I'd sell an RP. And there's no reason that you know the only reason we're selling is is uh, it's too big. We had, yeah. we had five kids, six with a fiance living there and my wife and myself. So we had, you know, comfortably uh, living eight people in that home. Right. And now it's my wife and myself. And, and, uh, you know, we're just, we're just stumbling around the place. It's huge. Right. And, <laughs> no, uh, I understand. And, and, uh, and, uh, you know, I took, um, I started another career. I want to get closer to the university where I'm working now. And, and, uh, and we sold our businesses and, uh, um, it's just a time to downsize. I've sold, you know, a bunch of cars that I had sitting there. It has an outbuilding of, uh, for another four car garage. And we sold the classic cars and we're just downsizing. And mm -hmm. we put, uh, easily, easily over 200,000 into the house. Right. Um, that's not reflected in the sales price at all. Right. Was, it started out there with, uh, I think, uh, I forget which realtor it was, but it started out there and just, it's, it's steadily decreased every two weeks for a year and a half to the right. point where now, it's at the tax value basically well, that's and and that is certainly under certainly undervalued given what you know we've restored that house top to bottom mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the pictures or not but top to bottom it's been restored okay I mean, everything's worked everything's new um it, you know it's it's a gorgeous home and and right. people see that but right. you know uh, they you know, they're, they're trying to steal it okay. so and i haven't had one bona fide offer now, in all that time not one offer that's crazy yeah, that just seems off to me, and it did, and it definitely depends on marketing. You know, there's a lot of agents that will come out and they do a three point marketing plan to where they'll come out and you well, know, stick a sign the, and they the take are, pictures. The, and <laughs> the agents have been quite frankly, they, the agents have been the downfall. Yeah. The agents don't like Timberlake's estates. They, they, I've heard them, uh, you know, come, you know, as they're going and and uh, they're talking with their clients. I've heard them say, you know, this, you know, this is an older neighborhood. Some of the homes are deteriorating here. You want new construction? They're 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 pushing them away, and over south of Kellogg. So all all the agents' negatives, attitudes, huh. and it's a bias. And and I've seen it. It's real. Wow. And uh, and and you know, if if I have to do something else with the house, you know, fine. Yeah. yeah. But. Uh, Okay. Um, well, Mike, know. Mike actually has an auction that he's running from about nine to five on Saturday. And so, um, I can mm -hmm. schedule a time in around six thirty that evening, um, or, or even mm -hmm. seven. Well, no, let's see until five. So six o'clock would even work. That'd give him an hour. Yeah, um, if he gives me a call, we, we have house guests now. So, you know, now that we've not listed it, now I can actually have people over and do things. Right. And not be ready to jump at a moment's notice, you know. Right. We haven't right. had it. You know, it's a beautiful home for entertaining, and we haven't been able to do that for over a year. So, right, right. Um, just you know, so have him give me a call Saturday. I'll I'll pick the phone up. Okay. Yep. I'll have him give you a call around 6 p.m. That might be um, the best time after the auction for him. Yeah. So I will give sure. him. I'll That's let fine. him know that you'd like to discuss that a little bit further with him. Yeah, I need to know auction statistics. I need okay. to know your success rate, and uh, you know. Percentages oh, yeah. and things like that. Yep. So he'll be able all to right. give all that to you. All right. Thank you, sir. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. I wasn't going to get Mike into that house, but um, I did snag a phone appointment. If this goes well and we get the appointment, because um, it's not out of state, I won't be able to really truly claim it unless um, we snag the listing. So I'm going to put phone call only on this. Um, but he's willing to discuss it. It was a thought that was in his mind and I brought it back out to life for him and we have an awesome auctioneer. So let's hopefully take advantage of this. That guy was very businesslike now, wasn't he? Just like this is going down, this is going to happen, and you're not going to change anything. I wonder if he's related to Stephanie Powers.
thoughts on the conversation? He was he was very much in control of the conversation. <laughs> I got my little jabs in here and there, but I he was I got him thinking though. That's good. He was a D personality, Barbara. He was very much so a D. And then I had to pull a little bit of my D out, and I don't have a whole lot of D in me. <laughs> I have a whole lot of I and a little bit of D. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's put the address of the home in here, 14705. I do like the fact that he is thinking maybe he needed to take that direction um, with it um, auction wise. And he said, McCurdy, it's like, ooh, McCurdy auctions is big here. And they've been doing a lot of the auctions for years, um, years and years and years. They're that well known. Um, and I know that Steve and them are, you know, getting up and running on their auction part here with select homes and they're doing fantastic work. Brian is really, I mean, Brian, listen to me. Mike is really good at what he does. They both are. So, okay, so let's go ahead and put that in. No, actually, I need to do something else. Okay. All right, so copy to my calendar, save. Hopefully Mike will remember to do this. I will maybe send him a All right, so this is gonna to go to Mike King, this is gonna to go to Leslie, and this is gonna to go to the partners. Okay. Enjoy your lunch. In the surprise range. 
Thank you, Mike Leslie Send. All right. So, any questions so far? Kind of having a really productive day. I'm kind of excited. Good, good times, good times. Um, okay, there we go. All right. Um, need to get some information on this home. Let's go ahead and pull this over here. It is um don't do that to me. One four seven zero five. Let's do this the easy way. There's no reason for me to write it down and then Are you guys laughing at me when I talk to myself just out of curiosity? <laughs> I do it quite often. Oh, thank you, Lola. That's my grandson and my niece. That's my big boy. And that's my precious little girl. <laughs> I get to spoil my grandson a lot, and I enjoy every minute of it. All right, so the appointment time is on the 6th, I believe. That was the 6th, wasn't it? Nope, that's the 7th. Ah, oh, crud, did I mess up the email too? You guys didn't stop me. Oh, no, I didn't. I did right. <gasps> Woohoo! That's why you didn't stop me. You knew it was right. At 6. ISA Barbara, Vulcan expired, 10-3, owner's name, Brian Powers, property address, 14705, needs might be a long shot, but Mike might have some really good things that he can um, show him and talk to him about, and we'll see what happens with this. There's an opportunity where there wasn't an op opportunity before, so hopefully it will work itself out. Anybody else sleepy today? It's kind of rainy here today. Well, it's not, it hasn't even rained. It's just extremely cloudy. And we have like a 30, 40% chance of rain today. And I, I need sun in my life. I need sun. And we just don't have it today. All right. So, here we go. Alien address is the same. Primary residence, how long have they owned the property? I have no clue, I should have asked. There are officially four bedrooms and five bathrooms as that states. Uh, type of home is a ranch, I believe. Um, It 
it has a a private half acre lot. Um, forest Central. It has a six car. garage and it's heated it has a swimming pool yes it has a large patio I'm sure it has a fireplace, finished basement. I'm looking at pictures right now. Basement one. It looks like it has a pool house too, almost. It has a deck and a patio. Here's the house if you guys want to look at it really quick with me. It needs some updating, but it's really pretty. It's very charming. It's a lot of charm. Um, It's a really nice home. The dining area and upstairs. So it is, let's see. It's not a ranch, it's a two story. I'm assuming it has, oops. It's really pretty. I like the outside of it. Patio, deck, porch, patio, lawn, fenced in yard, garden, pool. All right, so. Um, let's see. Was last listed at four ten. Yes, four ten. Yes. All right, this is boring, but it's stuff we have to do, so just got to get through the steps to move on to that next appointment. Um, 10, 7, 17. 
All right, so that is that. Did we put it in the tracker yet? I think we did, didn't we? All right, so we did that. All right. All right, so let's move on. Hello? Hi, Casey. Yes. Hey, it's Barbara over at Select Homes Team Real Estate. And I was calling about your home that was withdrawn from the market over there in Andover. Just calling to see if you're still accepting offers on this home or if you don't mind me asking what the current situation was. Um, yeah, it's up for rent now. Sorry, it's it's what? rented. Sorry. It's rented. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Are you going to um, possibly explore the option of selling it again after the lease is up or? Yeah. Um, we do, they just signed a two-year lease though. They what? They signed a two-year lease. Two. Okay. Do you mind if I follow up in a couple years? Yeah. Then? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Casey. Awesome. Yes, mm -hmm. have a good one. Bye. Bye. I'll put it in. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding a lead. Um, he said, yeah. Well, don't know if it'll be available or not, but we might as well put it in as a follow-up, right? It's all about building that seller database. So let's go ahead and add that. Switch this over to, well, I don't know, let's give it to Grant. Transfer. Go ahead and put this into a watch status. There's some notes in here. All right, so let's add the address of the home. It's a four bed. Four bed, four bath. Priced at two ten. Paste. Oh, let's see, seventeen. I'll check in on them there. All right. So 
Let's move on. Hello, you've reached Luann Schroeder and I'm away from the phone right now. If you will, please leave a name and a number and a brief message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much and make it a super day. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Um, guys, I'm setting a buyer's appointment really quick for Ferris, so I'm going to just put that on pause pause really quick because I'm not going to be able to concentrate on that and she wants me to get this on the calendar for her really quick so you guys can see kind of how I do my buyer's appointments um, which will be helpful um, 3805 East 187th Street Oh wait, what am I doing? Okay. So we do the same exact thing as we do with our listing. Let me go find. Ouch. All right, so, and we do it just a little bit different in Kansas City. We share things just a little different. Okay, that is on her calendar now. Um, I'll let Ferris send the email when she gets back, but it's on the calendar and ready to go. Okay, so team is killing it this morning. It's a good thing. All right, so let's move on with this. person available to help you. If there is no one available, please leave us a voice. Hello. Hello. Misty? Hello. Is this Misty? Hello. No, it is not. Okay, I have the wrong number then. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh-huh, thank you.
box of Dave Trimble. I've talked to David Trimble before. I don't know why his name is in there. I just realized that. Huh? We have a really cute squirrel at our door. We have a glass window. We're in the basement. That's why we call it the bunker. <laughs> Anyways, and then we have stairs and we have this kind of like wooded area, not even really wooded, just lots of shrubs and things. And it attracts lots of wildlife. And we have a squirrel right now at our window, like literally trying to get in. And I think it's because it thinks that our spotted carpet is <laughs> nuts. Hello. Hi, can I speak with Jenny, please? This is her. Hey, Jenny, it's Barbara over at Select Homes, Team Real Estate. And um, I was calling about your home that was recently expired from the market. Have you had a chance to get that home relisted, or are you even still accepting offers on the home? Oh, no. I appreciate if you'd stop calling. Okay, so you're not currently going to, to sell the home, or? Hello? <laughs> I appreciate it if you stop calling. Anyways, so we have a squirrel trying to get in the in the office right now through the window, and it's just kind of funny. It's cute to watch. I probably just bored each and every one of you, but sometimes I share tidbits of information that's <laughs> not truly really important. Hello. Hi, this is Barbara over at Select Homes and Team Real Estate. And I was looking for the owner of the home there on, is it um, Cameron? Is that how you pronounce hear. it? Excuse me? Yeah, what did no, you say? Do you own a home that was recently expired from the market? Yes. Okay. Have you had a chance to get that home relisted? Uh, yeah, we, we are, we're about to get a relist it. Okay. Have you gone through that interview process to see who would be a good fit to help you sell the home? Yeah, yeah, you... Yes, we have. Oh, okay. So um, when should we see that back on the market? Uh, within the next week or so. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. Uh -huh. mm, bye. I think he was fibbing to me. Lion. All right, guys, I'm going to hit the big old pause button right now. Let that cycle through. If you have any questions after the dials stop, um, I feel free to ask away. And if not, I will see everyone tomorrow at 1230. The Davisons. Can't take your call now. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody, anybody? Have a good one.